steam your way down in the depths of my heart. Kids can go back to junior church. Brother Brent. Oh, good morning, everyone. Howdy. Everybody happy this morning? Amen. Anybody come ready for God to do something in your life? Would you sing with him? We'll open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Uh, to see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing. desire this morning you want God to work in your life you know when you think about all the good things that God does and guess what he is so good to us and he works in so many different ways we ought to have the desire this morning to lift up and praise the name of Jesus has he been good to anybody this week oh come on has he been good and touched anybody this week you know what? It is an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning, to know that you're saved and that you're on your way to heaven and that everything's going to be all right. Let's sing in the key of G here if we can. The song goes like this. Well, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting Well, I'm We'll safe and secure from all alarm. I'm leaning, I'm leaning. We're leaning on the everlasting. Well, now, oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Leaning on the everlasting arm. Oh, how bright the path that flows from day to day. Everlasting arm, we'll lean, lean, I'm leaning. We'll stay and secure from all along. I'm leaning, I'm leaning, leaning on the everlasting arm. Well, what have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting. In peace with my Lord so dear, leaning on the everlasting. You know I'm leaning, I'm leaning. We'll stay and secure from all along. I'm leaning, I'm leaning, leaning on the everlasting. You know I'm leaning. 
will stay and secure from all alarm. I'm leaning, I'm leaning, we're leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. How many glad we got a God we can lean on this morning? You know what? If you were here Friday night, and if you weren't here Friday night, you missed it. Uh, for the first time in the history of this church, we were absolutely packed from top to bottom. Amen. We had, uh, we had, if we counted right, now, Phil and Rick always accused me of double clicking. But we had 795 people in here Friday night. We had almost 60 folding chairs out. And they were parked on top of each other outside here. But guess what? Not only did we have 795 in here, God was here. Yes. People were touched. Yes. Somebody raised their hand. They needed Jesus in their life. So we're believing that, that they, they repented and got saved Friday night. All kinds of people said they needed help. I'm going to tell you what. How can we be anything but thrilled to death this morning? And just excited about what God does. I don't know about you, but when I sing this song, this song right here, after a night like that and what God's doing in our church, and you say, well, what's God doing? Man, he's saving people, and he's lifting people up, and he's delivering people. We are so blessed this morning. As we sing, I am blessed, I'm blessed, we ought to be able to just worship him and just let him know how much we appreciate this morning. Well, I am blessed. Well, I am blessed. Till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed, I am blessed, well I am blessed, I am blessed, every day that I serve Him, I am blessed, oh. shout amen this morning we're going to pull a song out of the book this morning but it will be up on the screen it's no song called hallelujah side how many remembers before you got saved what your life was and how many remembers what it's been ever since this old verse goes like this once a sinner far from jesus i was perishing with cold you know what without him we have nothing but with him we have everything would you sing with me well, once a sinner far from Jesus, I was perishing with cold. But the blessed Savior heard me when I cried. Then he threw his robe around me and he led me to his fold. Where I'm living on that hallelujah side. Well, glory be to Jesus, let the hallelujahs roll. Let me ring my Savior's praises far and wide. For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul. Well, I'm living on that hallelujah side. Well, though the world may rage around me with her dazzle and her dreams, yet I envy not her vanity and pride. For my soul looks up to heaven where the golden sunlight gleams, where I'm living on that hallelujah side. Well, glory be to Jesus, let the hallelujahs roll. Let me ring my Savior's praises far and wide. For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul. I'm living on that hallelujah 
his side Will not for all their small rebellions When I leave this precious place Though the tempter to persuade me oft has tried For I'm safe in God's pavilion Happy in his love and grace And I'm living on that hallelujah side Well, glory be to Jesus Let the hallelujahs roll Let me ring my Savior's praise as far and wide for I'm open down toward heaven, all the windows of my soul. I'm living on that hallelujah side. We'll hear the sun is always shining, here the sky is always bright. There's no place for gloomy Christians to abide. For my soul is filled with music and my heart with great delight. I'm living on that hallelujah side. Hang on just a minute here. Hang on just a minute. Y'all, y'all see what we just sang? Here the sun is always shining. This is describing what it's going to be when we inherit the eternal life that God has for us. No place for gloomy Christians. Man, we all be happy. And y'all are about there. Kenny's about to get happy back here. And you're about to understand, folks, we have so much to be thanking God for. And, we're, and we're, we're, we're singing about the hallelujah side, that one of these days we're going to escape this old world and God's going to take us to a better place and he's going to set this world up to be what he wanted it to be in the beginning and bring us back to here. What an absolute joy it's going to be. It goes like this. Well, here the sun is always shining. Here the sky is always bright. There's no place for gloomy Christians to abide. For my soul is filled with music and my heart with great delight Where I'm living on that hallelujah side Well now glory be to Jesus, let the hallelujahs roll Let me ring my Savior's praises far and wide For I've opened up toward Him and all the windows of my soul I'm living on that hallelujah side Well now glory be to Jesus Let the hallelujahs roll Let me ring my Savior's praises far and wide For my soul was up for heaven On the windows of my soul I'm living on that hallelujah side Well now glory be to Jesus Let the hallelujahs roll let me ring my Savior's praises far and wide For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul I'm living on that hallelujah sign Looking forward to Jesus uh, and spend eternity with him. How about you? You know what? If God's ever met a need, if God's ever moved in your life, if God has ever answered a prayer, he is worthy of our praise. We sing the old song, every praise is to our God. And I, I think sometimes when you sing a song so much, people forget what you're singing about. Man, I remember when I was lost, but now I'm found, Brother Dan. I remember when I had no hope, and now I've got hope. And we get to that part, God my Savior. I am so thankful that one day he reached down his hand and he saved me. God my Deliverer. Many of you know what it is to be delivered from the things that had you bound. God, my healer, we know what it is to heal, to feel the touch of the master strong hand. We sing this morning, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our Oh, every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Oh, glory hallelujah is to our God. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. 
Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Every praise. Oh, every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise. Do I one more time? Every praise, if you would. Every praise is to us. Sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art! How great Thou art! Sings my soul, my. Soul. I get a big amen from everybody this morning. Before you're seated, turn around and look at someone and say, you know what? I am just thrilled to death. You're in the house of the Lord with me this morning, if you would. God bless you. God good folks I'm so glad we serve an all knowing all powerful God this morning praise his name we could have our ushers come forward this time we'll take up our morning tithes and offerings Brother Ronnie Prince, would you lead us in prayer? Amen. Go right on, guys.
Excuse me. I got to testify. You know, sometimes in our lives we carry baggage. People have hurt us. We've hurt others. And we carry we carry that inside. Well, I want you to know this morning that I have forgiven anyone in my life that I felt that have hurt me. And I've asked God for them to be able to forgive me. And when I did that, I felt something in my heart and my life that I've not felt in a long time. So if you have something like that going on in your life, forgive, folks. That's what the Bible tells us to do. Forgive one another and love one another. And I just want to praise God this morning because he's been patient with me. And he's cared for me. And he's loved me. And I appreciate him so much this morning, and I love him with all of my heart. Amen. Sometimes things can take a root that we don't even know of taking a root. But guess what? God is faithful. I said, God is faithful this morning. Well, like a bird out of prison that's taken his flight. Like a blind man that God gave back his sight like a poor wretched beggar that found fortune and fame I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out show me the way well thank God I'm free 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 from this world of sin I've been washed in the blood of Jesus, been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. Well, for a long time I've traveled down a long lonely road my heart was so heavy and then i sank low but then i heard about jesus what a wonderful hour i'm so glad that i found out he would bring me out in his holy power well thank god i'm free from this world of sin I've been washed in the blood Jesus I've been born again well hallelujah I'm saved 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 by his wonderful grace I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out and show me the way well, thank God, I'm free, free, free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood, Jesus, been born again. Well, hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out. He'll show me his way. I'm glad I'm saved this morning. How about you? I said, I'm glad I'm saved this morning. Anybody else glad? Y'all looking at me like, my, 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 what can we be happy about in this old world we're living in? I'm free. I said, I'm free this morning. Sin doesn't have any reign in my life. I'm telling you right now. You say, well, I struggle every day. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't struggle every day because I found out in whom I have believed. And my God is faithful. And my God is true. And I don't know about you. It is such an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning. And to know that God is still God. And he is still a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Give your musicians a huge hand this morning. Let them know you appreciate it.
Hello. Aren't you glad we don't have to be perfect? Being how Glenda tried to send him to the wrong box, she's the one that unplugged that one. If you have your Bibles this morning, would you turn with me to the 138th chapter of the book of Psalms? And then we're going to be going over to the 8th chapter of the book of John. I am so thankful this morning. I, I, I don't know about you. I, when I, I got here this morning early, it was still dark outside. And the, the birds were just a singing and just a chirping and just having a good old time this morning. And I walked in, I was thanking the Lord, and then when I walked in here, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, the Lord, was he's been in this building with me all morning. I, I felt his presence. I feel him this morning and feel him right now. I'll tell you what, folks, God is ready to bring revival to Bedford, Indiana at Graceville Gospel Church. And I'm ready for him to do it. Uh, we were talking this morning, someone said, what would have happened if you had 795 in church this morning? I said, I'd shout. Just so everybody understands, if you remember last week, I made the statement that I had a dream. And I don't remember a lot of my dreams. When I do, I know that they're dreams that God has given me. And I dreamed uh, last week, and uh, I was counting the folks as they were coming in, and I said I, I quit counting at 536, and I, I just quit counting. They said, well, you got what you dreamed. No. I, if you remember last week, it wasn't a singing that that was there, it was church. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Hey, I'm, I'm glad 795 people came Friday night and got touched, but I'm ready for 500 people to come in here and get saved. Yeah. Amen. I'm ready for a bunch of people to come in here and get delivered. You say, well, God can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. God won't do that anymore. Oh, yes, he will. God is not able. Oh, yes, he is. He's able to do what? Exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. So I am believing God for great things, and I don't know about you. Uh, uh, Sam told me we had one saved in Sunday school this morning. You mean to tell me you didn't come to the altar in front of the church? Hey, God will save you wherever. And whether it's in Sunday school, whether it's in youth group, whether it's at ladies' meeting, even if you come to a, a breakfast at church and somebody gets saved at breakfast, I'm telling you what, whenever and wherever we have the chance to share Jesus, we need to be doing that. Amen? Amen. Psalms 138 chapter, in the third verse, the Bible says, In the day when I cried, thou answered. How many is glad that when we pray, God hears us? Amen. In the day that I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. Though I walk... In the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Uh, I, I want you to understand this morning. God will fight your battles for you, and he will work in your life. If you give him the opportunity. John the 8th chapter this morning. And the 30th verse the Bible says. And he spake these words. And many believed on him. This is Jesus talking. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word. Then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth. And I want you to listen to what the word says. And the truth shall make you free. Most people quote that the truth will set you free. That's not what the word says. The truth shall make you free. They answered him. And this is how man is constantly trying to rationalize what God says. They said, they answered him and said, We be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. 
And I want you to listen to what it says here. If the Son, if Jesus therefore shall make you free, hang on a minute, you shall be free indeed. I want you to bow your heads with me this morning. Let's pray. We're going to ask Almighty God to help us as we endeavor to minister His words this morning. Father God, we come before you in the most precious name of Jesus. Humbled, Lord, that you've allowed us one more day to stand in this presence of this people. And Lord, to feel your touch. And Lord, to preach this word one more time. Lord, I know that within myself, I can't do it. But Lord, with your help and your anointing, I can say the very words that need to be said in this church this morning. I ask you now to touch every heart and every ear, Lord, as we get ready to bring forth what you've laid on our heart. I pray, Lord, that you would anoint my words, Lord, and you would uh, cause me to say what needs to be said. Let every word that issues out of my mouth be your words. Every thought that I think this morning, let them be your thoughts. I pray, Lord, for the touch on everyone that's walked in this church and, Lord, for everyone that's going to be watching this later on. I pray, Father God, that you would stretch forth your hand, that you would move, uh, and that you would touch, and, Lord, you would accomplish your will. And we want to bring all honor, praise, and glory unto you this morning. For we ask this uh, in the most wonderful and precious name of Jesus, and everyone shout it if you would. Amen, amen and amen. I was sitting and thinking about the service, and, and uh, as I, I went to bed last night, and I was praying and asking the Lord to, to help me to be able to preach what needs to be preached this morning. And be able to say the words that need to be said. Because I, I can tell you right now, I, I don't want to just stand up here and proclaim a bunch of words that mean nothing. I want to preach what God has laid on my heart because God knows what we need more than I do. And the Lord began to deal with my heart and He began to minister to me. And as I came into the church this morning, and uh, I was sitting there and all of a sudden I... I just felt the need to lift my hands towards heaven and just to praise the God that saved me. And I began to glorify Him and He began to minister to my heart. And I want you to understand this morning, I am not in a state of hopelessness in my life. I have a hope that most people don't understand. And as I sit here this morning, I, I thought as the Lord was dealing with my heart, uh, as much hope as I have, uh, there are multitudes of people that are walking through this life without hope. And I began to, my heart began to break for those uh, that have not come to the knowledge uh, of knowing this relationship with Jesus Christ is the answer to everything they're facing. And I began to think about the hopelessness of so many. And I thought to myself, uh, thank God uh, that night many years ago that he got a hold of me. And he, he reached down into my heart. Uh, and Brother Sam, he lifted me up and he saved me. And he gave me the hope that I never thought I could ever have. Uh, and I thought to myself, you know what? Uh, the word talks about that when I cry unto him, uh, he answers my prayer. And I'm glad for that because I'm praying that God begins to save more people. Listen, I'm, let me tell you what. There is such a need in this world, in this community, and in your families, in my families, uh, for people to be saved. I'm going to tell you, every one of us has lost loved ones, do we not? Every one of us have people we know that need to be saved, do we not? Uh, every one of us uh, knows somebody that needs to be touched by the master's strong hand. Uh, and as I went through these scriptures and I began to read them uh, in Psalms, and I love Psalms, and I went over and, and the Lord took me over into John, uh, and I began to read, If the Son therefore shall make you free, uh, you shall be free indeed. Uh, and I thought, you know, we're living in a, in a country where we have freedoms, uh, but yet there's so many people in this country that are bound. Uh, we're living in a country where we can come and go as we want. Uh, but there's so many people here that don't have the freedom uh, to be uh, uh, uncontrolled by the sin of this world. Uh, I want you to know, uh, the Bible says if you become the servant of sin, uh, you are that servant. I don't want sin controlling my life. 
I don't want to lay my head down at night, brother, and hope that Jesus don't come back uh, so that I miss out on the rapture of the church. Uh, I don't want uh, to get in my car and think, uh, oh, God, uh, I don't want to get killed today because I don't know whether or not I'm saved. Uh, I don't know whether or not I'm redeemed. Uh, I want to be able to lay my head down at night uh, and know this, uh, that if I don't wake up in this life, uh, I'll wake up in a better place. Uh, If I get in a car and there's a wreck, Uh, and I'm killed Uh, I don't have to worry about in the last second calling out Jesus forgive me Uh, I can open my eyes and see the face of Jesus Uh, I want you to understand everything in your life right now uh, that may seem like it's heaping on top of you uh, and you don't know what, when, where how you're going to get through it Uh, I want you to know if you'll let Jesus make you free uh, you'll be free from all this stuff uh, all the cares of life uh, all the sin, all the trials, all the tribulations uh, If you will let him work in your life, uh, he will make the difference that you need. Well, I I wish that this was for me. Uh, I wish. uh, The Bible says, whosoever. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord might be saved. Ooh, Bible scholar shall be saved. There's no might in there. You mean to tell me that if a drunk calls on the Lord, he'll save him? If a drug addict calls on the Lord, will he save her or him? If a person that's so bound by the cares of life, uh, if they call on the Lord, uh, will he save them? I want you to know uh, he'll dip down in the very depths of the hell that you're walking in uh, and he'll lift you up out of that miry clay uh, and he'll set your feet on a solid rock uh, and he'll give you something worth living for. People said, I want to be happy. You'll never be happy unless you put Jesus in your life. It never happened. Well, but everybody, I'm out, I'm having a good time, we're partying every night. Uh, Let me tell you what, if your idea of fun uh, is getting high or getting drunk and then having to come down from it uh, and wonder where the next one's going to come from so you can get away from what it is you're in, uh, if that's your idea of fun, uh, let me introduce you to something you're really going to like. You don't have to worry about coming down because when he takes you up, he takes you up. Uh, You don't have to worry about waking up the next morning and wondering where you are or who you're with. Uh, you'll know that I'm redeemed uh, I'm born again uh, I'm here uh, I'm saved uh, I'm ready to go uh, and I'm free Uh, I'm telling you this morning uh, I'm preaching about this Uh, thank God uh, I'm free this morning Uh, I'm not bound uh, by this world Uh, I'm not bound by the sin that this world is being controlled by Uh, but I am free uh, by the precious blood of Jesus Christ Uh, not because of anything I did Uh, the Bible says for by faith are you saved Uh, not of works lest any man should boast but thank God it is the gift of God he gave it when we didn't deserve it he saves us when we're not worthy but because he loves us he does it anyway my and I forgot my hanky I got no nasty Kleenex up here my dad ain't here to borrow his anymore mom pulls out the chapstick I don't need it In the midst of my trouble, I called on the Lord, and he heard me, and he answered my prayer. Man, how many times have we been in trouble and we wonder where God is, and God always comes in? In the midst of where I am right now, as bad as it may seem in your life, when you call upon the Lord, the Bible says he answers your prayer. God is faithful. Uh, I'm not talking to the lost right now. I'm talking to the redeemed. Uh, I'm talking to the person that may feel like that you're struggling a little bit because of everything that's going on. Uh, Let me tell you what. We've got to get to the point as children of God. Uh, And I'm saved. How about you? Uh, If you are saved, you are a child of the king. Uh, You are born again. Your sin no longer has uh, dominion over you. Uh, You're not bound by the cares of life 
anymore. In fact, the word's very clear. Uh, he says we're to cast all of our cares upon the Lord uh, because He cares for you. Uh, and when we call upon Him, uh, Brother Chad, when we pray, uh, we believe that God's going to answer our prayer. So right now, where you are, uh, in the thing that you're facing this very moment in your life, uh, know this, uh, God is still God. Uh, God is still able. Uh, and God is still a rewarder uh, of anybody that will diligently seek Him. Uh, if you'll fall on your knees and pray, uh, if you'll ask God to move, uh, God will move in your life. Somebody said, what happened to you? I got stirred. Hello. I got stirred. I got excited. I'm tired of this same old, same old that people are satisfied with. Well, we come to church and we're going to sing three songs. Uh, we're going to take up an offering. Rick's going to stand up and give testimonies. Uh, or uh, he's going to stand up and give announcements and nobody's going to listen. It don't matter who's giving them. Nobody listens. I told Rick one day, he called me. He said, what time's that thing we're doing? I said, Rick, you're the one giving the announcements. You don't even listen to yourself. We come in Sunday morning, we're going to hurry because God forbid if the preacher gets long-winded and we can't get to the restaurant before the Baptist church does. <laughs> Have y'all noticed that I don't care anymore? Because we ain't been getting out early. And guess what? Don't get used to getting out early because I'm telling you, God's getting ready to start doing some good things on you. And let me tell you what, you may not get to the restaurant till 2 o'clock or you may not get there at all because we may be in church all day. And guess what? If God's moving, who cares? If people's getting saved, who cares? If people's getting delivered, who cares? Well, I may get hungry. You're all big enough you can go one meal without it. <laughs> Sam says, I could go too. We can't get in the rut of trying to determine what God's going to do. The Bible says, as Paul was looking to Timothy, he said, Timothy, stir up. Come on, somebody stir something with me here. Oh, come on, Mom, you stir better than that. Stir up. Come on, Roselli, you ain't that old. Stir up. Friend, I've seen you make rolls, and you know how to stir. 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 Stir up. The gift of God that's in you. Then Paul goes on to say, by the laying on of hands. Pray for people. You mean to tell me you're going to lay hands on me? Some of you, yeah, and we may even pray. We have to get to the point that when we come to church, and I'm going to tell you what, we got to get to the point that we're so excited to get to church uh, that we can't wait to get here. And when we walk through the doors of the church, we've got an anticipation. How many remembers the old ketchup commercials? Uh, and they start, anticipation. And they're trying to get the ketchup to come out. Anybody remember that? A lot of, you, a lot of old people in here. You young people looking at, what do you mean? It don't matter. To be so excited and to be so, whoo, what's going to happen in church today? Yeah. Or what's going to happen in church tonight? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till Wednesday night. You mean we have church on Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to get there because I know God's got something good. 
I can't wait to get up. Man, it wouldn't it be good if people rolled out of bed on Sunday morning huh, at about 4.35 o'clock because they're so anticipating what God's going to do. They can't sleep. Uh, and Brother Tracy, they get up uh, and they get their coffee and they can't even drink it because they're so excited about Jesus uh, that they come into church uh, and before anybody has a chance to do anything, uh, they're worshiping and praising God uh, and they're letting Him work. Uh, then you start the song service and people just begin to rejoice in the Lord uh, and you begin to... Rick can't make the announcements. Uh, nobody can do anything uh, because the Shekinah glory of the Lord is sweeping through the house of God. Uh, and he's touching and ministering to people uh, and lifting them up. Uh, I don't believe that. But let me tell you what. Uh, if you don't believe it, you better hang on because God's getting ready to get you with it. Well, I was raised such and such denomination. I don't care what she's raised. Hello? Somebody told me the other day, said, we've turned into Bapticostals. <laughs> they talking about themselves. I don't care if you're a Bapticostal, a Nazarene Costal, a Presbyterian Costal, a Church of Christ or Costal, or just no heathen Costal. However it is and whatever it was, you was raised. And let me tell you what. I was raised in a church where they shouted. I was raised in a church where they lifted their hands up uh, and they glorified God. I was raised in a church that if somebody got happy, they just took off a running. Uh, and they was praising God. Well, I don't do that. Don't say that. You be the first one God to get a hold of. Bonnie, it may be you next. She says, oh, Jesus, not tonight. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see your young people so stirred, so on fire, that they can't sit in their pew anymore? Wouldn't you like to see your moms and dads uh, so excited about Jesus uh, that they can't even sit down even when the preacher's preaching? Uh, wouldn't you like to see grandma and grandpa so excited uh, that when they come to church, uh, they just want to tell somebody about Jesus? Uh, wouldn't you like to get to the point that when you walked in church, uh, nobody had to pump and prime you uh, and get you going? Uh, you wanted to go before everybody even started. Well, I'm not a demonstrative person. I'm not either. I don't get excited very often. I mean, you all know that by now. I don't get, I don't get uh, beside myself. How can you not? How can you not? When you know that you know that you know you're not dying and going to hell anymore. Uh, you've got eternal life through Jesus Christ your Lord. Uh, I don't care how you were raised, where you were raised. Uh, when you realize what it is to be free. Uh, and you don't worry about all this other stuff. Well, I, I've got things in my life that shouldn't be there. Well, get them out and let's go on. Thank you, brother, for finally yielding to the Lord. There's so many folks. And, and I had no, my Lord. <laughs> Carrying around things that, let me tell you what. When you worry about slobbering and spitting and snot stringing, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> I've seen people praying at an altar, listen to me. And they were so, so intent on God working in their life. Because they were down so low and they felt God lifting them up. The tears were a-flowing, the snot was streaming, and they didn't care. Oh, that's sick, that's disgusting, that's gross. Maybe, but it happens. Not me. When we quit worrying about what everybody else is going to think, Man, can you imagine if Fran got happy and let out a war hoop? <laughs> oh, don't say it'll never happen. <laughs> That's almost a challenge to God right there. 
Ooh, it'll never happen. Last person that said that, they shook off a shouting around the church, uh, and I couldn't keep up with them. You see, however we worship God, this is how we got to worship God. Everybody's not demonstrative. But I tell you what everybody can do. Everybody can praise their God. Everybody ain't going to shout. But you know what? They can still praise their God. Everybody won't cry. I've had pre I have people tell me that they used to cry at the drop of a hat and they prayed that God would take their tears away. They said that was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. I cried to God until he gave me the tears back. Well, I'm, I'm not a small person. It don't bother me none, he says. Yeah, it does. Do you ever see And we appreciate that. He said, that's just for your sake. And I appreciate that. There's certain things in life I don't want to see, and that's at the top of my list. <laughs> Sam wears these long shirts, and he says, I wear them for a reason. I've seen people that are small, are big, are skinny, are not skinny. I'm trying to be nice here, folks. <laughs> and they're afraid to let God do what God wants to do because they're afraid that things might get to moving that ain't supposed to be moving anymore. Y'all hearing me? When we are so proud... That we don't let God bless us. We have missed the boat. I'm going to tell you what. I'm a firm believer. The world is tired. Of what most churches have got going on in them now. Because there's no difference between the people sitting on the pews and them. The world is looking for something real. I said, the world is looking for something real. And they're looking for people that aren't ashamed. I can tell you right now, I ain't ashamed I'm saved. I don't care who knows it. If I cared, I wouldn't wear my church shirts where I go. Well, that's because, you have, no, I'm going to tell you what. You know my, my, what I say about church shirts. If you're going to wear a church shirt, act like a Christian. If you wear one every day, maybe you'll be a Christian every day. <laughs> That's what it takes. Wear it every day. Ronnie, wear it to bed with you. Whatever it takes to walk this walk that God has given us. You see, I'm free this morning. I'm not bound. Brother Dan, if I would drop dead right now, I have no doubt in my mind where I'll open my eyes at next. Are you figuring on dropping dead? No. I don't think God's done with me yet. But if he is and I die right now, guess what? The first face I'm going to see is Jesus. But how can you be sure? My Bible tells me that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Can I say something to you this morning? When I got saved, when I got up, there was no doubt in my mind that Jesus had forgiven me because I felt different when I got up than when I went down. Yeah, 
when I felt the weight of sin taken off my neck and my shoulders and that noose taken from around me, I knew, Ronnie Prince, that something had happened. And I knew that my sins had been forgiven. Folks, I know for the first two days, I don't think I even touched the ground when I walked. Well, I just don't know if God can love me. God's already loved you. I don't know if God can forgive me. I believe it's the 138th chapter of the book of Psalms talks about if I go into the pits of the earth, you're there. If I reach up into the highest parts, you're there. I want to read you something. I read this this morning, and I thought, Lord, this will make a good message. And he took me to where he took me, but I want to read you something real quick here. Let me get over here. Just bear with me. You say, well, I wish you'd hurry. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, come on, Lord, help me here. <laughs> Psalms. The 115th chapter. The Bible says, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name. Give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Listen to what the word says. They have mouths but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. And I got to thinking about that. And then I went over into the Word. Where the Bible talks about. <laughs> how he numbered the stars. And he called them by name. All the gods of the world, the Muhammads, the Buddhists, the Hare Krishnas, anybody that has been brought up all these years. Folks, there's one thing they all have in common. They're all dead. And if you go to their grave, their bones are still there. But there is a God. Whew, hang on. Was crucified. Laid in a borrowed tomb. A stone was rolled over the door. Guards were placed there because of the fear that somebody would come and steal his body. And three days later, when his kin would came in and saw the stone was rolled away. They looked inside, and the angel of the Lord stood there and said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here. Whew. He is alive. He's real. You see, God, 
when he sent his son Jesus to this earth uh, and he hung on that cross and he died. Uh, you say, this is an Easter message. No, it's not. Uh, this is an everyday message. Uh, when he went to the earth uh, and he was buried in that tomb, in that grave, uh, and then uh, the Lord came down, the power of God came down and he arose. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, Stephen looked uh, weeks later uh, and he looked up into the, the throne of heaven uh, and he says, behold, uh, I see the Son of God standing on the right hand of the Father. Uh, folks, you want to serve an old, dead, dried up God, that's your choice. Uh, but I choose today to be free. Uh, and I choose today uh, to serve the one uh, that rose, uh, that death couldn't even conquer. Uh, the devil thought he'd won. Uh, but God showed him in the end, I've got the final say. Uh, and he arose. Uh, he came out of that grave. Uh, and he is alive forevermore. Uh, he'll never die again. Uh, he'll never be slain again. Uh, he will always live. Uh, and what of these days we're going to live with him for all of eternity. But folks, before that can happen, you have to be free. You have to be set free from the sin that is so much destroying your life. The cancer of sin that is eating you from the inside out. You have to be free from the bondages that have you, whether it's the drugs or the alcohol or it's perversion or whether you have a problem telling the truth, you're nothing but a liar. Maybe you've done all kinds of things. God don't don't look uh, at what sin it is. Uh, God just sees it as sin uh, and says my grace is sufficient uh, for in your weakness I am made strong. Uh, God will come into your life uh, and he will make you somebody you never thought you could be. Uh, he'll lift you up above the shadows uh, and set your feet on higher ground. Uh, he'll work uh, when everybody else has given up on you. Uh, he'll raise you out when nobody else cares. Uh, he'll change your life when everybody else has given up. Uh, God still can God still will and God still does make you free well <laughs> if people only knew what it was to taste of the Lord and find out that he's good And realize that longing, that emptiness in your life. Come on, musicians. That you are so hard trying to fill with everything but God. It will never be enough. It will never satisfy. It will never fill. The Bible says, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to go to that key of G. And I want you to stand with me this morning. That song that I sang before we preached, most of you already know because we've sung it around here every once in a while as a chorus, goes like this. Thank God I'm free, free, free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus, been born again. Oh. By his wonderful grace I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out And show me the way Every head bowed, every eye closed If you would for a moment i got to ask you a question this morning God don't lay a message like this on your heart For no reason at all you may be standing here this morning in this church right now. And you say, you know what? I'm not free this morning. Sin is controlling my life. And I need help that only God's going to give it. I understand right now that where I am may be awful. But I know God's got something better for me. 
You're standing here this morning. Jesus is not Lord of your life. You've not given your heart and life to Him. You say, I'm not a Christian, but I want to be. Would you slip your hand up right now? Anybody in this church? I want the Lord to save me and to change me and to make me what I need to be. Would you slip your hand up? Anybody at all? Thank you for that hand. Anybody else? Thank you for that hand. Anybody else? Come on. Stand there in the way that you are. And then walk out of here and wonder why you didn't do it. That's your choice. But I tell you right now, if you want your life changed, if you want your life different, if you want something that you don't have right now, all it takes is this relationship with Jesus Christ. Would you slip your hand up? I need Jesus. I'm not saved. Let me say something to you here real quickly. Listen to me. You can say you're a Christian, but if every day, every day, you're doing things you know you shouldn't be doing, maybe it's time for a new dip. Can I get an amen? If you're struggling with everything in life, maybe it's time you come back and you say, Lord, I've tried it my way and it's not working. I need to do it your way. Is that you to this morning? Is that you today? Did you say, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it right. I'm struggling every day with sin. I'm struggling every day with doing right. And I need God to take over. Would you slip your hand up right now? Anybody in this church? Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. Anyone else? Come on. Thank you for that hand. Anybody else? Why do you have people? Thank you for that hand. That hand. Anybody else? My, 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 my. God's dealing with people, folks. Anyone else right now? You lift your hand up and say, you know what? I need God to work this thing out in my life. I need him to change this. Thank you for that hand. Anyone else? I need, thank you for that hand, that hand, that hand, that hand, that hand. Come on. Anybody else? Come on. I need God to move. Let me tell you what. The Baptist church is already at the restaurant, so we've got all afternoon now. Would you slip your hand up? I need Jesus to work in my life right now. I need him to take over. Thank you for that hand. Anyone else? Come on. Thank you for that hand, that hand, that hand. Anyone else? Come on. I need God to move. I need him to minister. I'm tired of doing it my way. I want to be free. I want to be free. First thing this morning, you raised your hand that you want Jesus to become Lord of your life. I want you to step out of your seat and I want you to come to this altar right now and meet me here. Would you come? Come on. Right now, you raise your hand that you need Jesus to become Lord of your life. Would you get out of your seat? Oh, I don't want people to think anything. Every one of us had to do it, folks. Every one of us. You don't want to come by yourself, grab your neighbor by the hand and bring him with you. Come on. You want your help? We're going to get it this morning. But we're going to get it in an altar of prayer. Would you come? I need Jesus in my life. You raised your hand. I need Jesus. Maybe you raised your hand this morning and said, you know what? I'm struggling and I need God to take over. Would you get out of your seat right now? Would you come to this altar? Come on. Get out, of your, get out of your seat right now. Come to this altar. I'm struggling. I need God to move. Come on. People's coming right now. Come on. Come on. Don't sit in your seat and wish you'd done it. Come on. Would you come? Would you come? Come on. You raised your hand. I want you to come. Come on now. Come on, young people. Some of you raised your hands. Come on, young people. Some of you raised your hands. Come on. Some of you raised your hands. Come on. If you're a young person and you need to pray, come on. I need some folks here now to come up here and I want you to pray with these folks. Come on, prayer warriors. Come on, children of God. Come up and gather around these folks. Come on. Come on up here. Gather around and pray that God would move in their lives. That God would minister. Well, from this world of sin, the rest of you this morning, if you would, would you stretch your hands forth. And I want you to pray with us that God would minister to all these folks this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, Lord, you see every need represented by every person down here at this altar. 
I ask you, Father God, to move as only you can move and to touch as only you can touch this morning. Lord, you know every need. Uh, you know every situation. Uh, my God, you know what needs to take place in our lives. Uh, my God, there's hearts here today that are broken. Uh, there's people here right now that are struggling. Uh, I ask you, Father God, to begin to work in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God, I ask you to minister right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, move right now, Father. Uh, move right now, Father. Uh, in the name of Jesus right now. Uh, Lord, we need your help this morning. Uh, we need your touch, Lord. Uh, we need you to minister this morning. Uh, my God, my God, my God. Uh, Lord, we just ask for mercy. We ask for grace right now. Uh, we ask you, Father God, to move right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus right now. Uh, oh, Father God, Father God, Father God. Uh, work your work, Lord. Well, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. Father God, right now, I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out, show me the way. Well, for a long time I've traveled down a long, lonely road. My heart was so heavy, and then I sank low. Well, then I heard about Jesus. What a wonderful hour. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out to His holy power. Thank God I'm free, free, free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus, been born again. Well, hallelujah, I'm saved, saved. Well, I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. Oh, thank God. I'm free, free, free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus, been born again. Well, hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. Well, amazing grace, how sweet. The sound it saved a wretch like me. Well, I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. But now I see, oh, twas grace that taught my heart to be and grace Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Would you sing praise God? Praise God. 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 We ought to be able to sing, well, I am.